Hello folks, recently the Kiel company has brought out its latest version of the IDE which is Micro Vision 5. It is packed with a lot of features along with the real-time operating systems. But are we able to still program one of the oldest ARM 7 processor LPC2148 in this IDE? Let's explore that in this video. First, let us install the latest version of the IDE, Microvision 5. For that, go to your browser and just type in Keel MDK 5. Just click on this link. You'll be brought to this website where go to Downloads tab. You will get product downloads and file downloads. Click on product downloads. And here click on MDK ARM. The company has other products also. C51, C166 and C251. But we are intended to program the ARM processor. Click on MDK ARM. It will bring you to the page where you need to fill the personal details. After filling the details, it will bring you to this page where you can download the mdk535.exe. It is quite a large file around 512 MB. Just click on this, it will start to download. After the completion of this download, go to another tab and download the legacy tools. Just type in mdk legacy support click on this link here scroll down you'll get the support for legacy devices download the legacy support for arm 7 arm 9 and arm cortex r series so these are the different support files available from keel you can download any of this i'll download the version 5.0 After the successful download, you will get these two files, MDK535 and the legacy support file. Now you need to install these two files. First install the Keel ARM 5 version, which is MDK535. Double click on this. Here click on next. Click on I agree for terms and conditions. Click on next. Select the default path for installation click on next here you fill in your personal details of the company it will start installing the keel 5 ide it will take quite a while to completely install Now it will ask for the installation of the other packages. If you are using any other devices than LPC2148, you can install it and use it. My purpose is to use the LPC2148, so I am not going to use, so I am not going to install any of them. If you want to use any other integrated circuits from any vendors, you can install them and use them. Now you need to install the legacy software. You go to that and install it. So this is the legacy software. Click on I agree for all conditions. And fill in the details. Install these files and software too. After the successful installation, we can open the Keel Microvision 5.
let me create a new project and show it to you project new microvision project here select the processor of your choice i'm going to create project on lpc 2148 if i type in lpc 2148 that will not be listed out here this is because the software packs by default this will be selected select here the legacy device database now if you type in lpc 2148 you can see the processor of our choice which is the processor we used to do in the previous projects click on ok here and click on no here now the project is created it shows the project name under this target one and under this source group one now let me add an existing assembly file to this here you have to select add existing files to the group source group one if i do that i can select the dot s file you can see the dot s file which is added now if i save it and build it So this is the assembly file I have created. Now if I save it and build it, you will get two errors and zero warnings. The error here is argument ARM 780MI not permitted for option CPU. So what is this error? I cannot go further here. If I go to the debug prompt, you will not enter into the debug prompt. So what is this error? This says the ARM 70 DMI processor is not supported. If you just copy this and uh, Google it out, you'll get many solutions. First solution is from the Keel community itself. If you go to that, you will get the genuine solution for this. go to this link the support for arm 7 or 9 series devices which leads to this page where you can see the keel microvision 5 is available in four different versions namely professional plus essential and light the by default version we are downloading is the light version so in this there is no support for the arm 7 or R9 or the ARM Cortex series of process as you can see there is no support in the light version as well as in the essential version so if you want to use the ARM 7 process you will have to purchase the plus version or the professional version but what is the solution for this how can we execute the assembly language programs or develop an embedded system program for ARM7 processors. For that, you need to download the lower version of the keel. Just go to this link and download the lower version. I have given the link to this in the description box below. You will be brought to this page here where you can download the MDK474 which is the lower version of the Keel Microvision 5. As the instruction says here, right click and save the link as. You can select the destination folder where you want to save. So this shows a warning. MDK474.exe can't be downloaded securely. Just select here, keep. If I do this, you can download this. I have already downloaded this file. Let me show it to you. Just double click on this and install it. As similar to the installation we have done previously. Click on next. Click on the terms and conditions. Select the destination folder where you want to install. Next, fill in the details.
After the successful installation, let me open up the Keel Microvision. Is Keel Microvision 4. By default, a default project will be opened up. But let me open the project I have created previously. Open the project. Which I named as test project. Open. So the directory structure you can observe here does not show the project name rather it directly shows the target under which source group 1 and under which the assembly file in the keel microvision 5 we have tested previously you cannot do assembly language programming whereas you can continue with the embedded C programming if you want to execute an assembly language program we cannot do that in the light version of the Microvision 5. So you need to install this lower version which is Microvision 4. So I have created a project, added the assembly file. So this is assembly file. Let me save it and build it. So here as usual in the previous lower versions zero errors and zero warnings I can debug it directly so this is a program to load two 16-bit binary numbers and multiply them which we have seen in the previous problem let me execute this step by step so this works well so this was a video all about and this is the way how we can execute an assembly language program in higher version of the Microvision IDE. And you can start executing any assembly language program like this. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.